بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيبي الله. I wanted to quickly talk about something uh, which I've been thinking about for quite some time, and we hear it often that some of our brothers from the Fudala, the good intentioned, be ibn Allah from the righteous from Ahlus Sunnah, they mention often uh, uh, so and so was balanced Salafi or he's from the balanced brothers or balanced salafia and so i wanted to mention a couple of points with regards to using this type of terminology because the asal of salafia the the origin the foundation of salafia is that it's balanced so there's no need for further descriptors of balance so what we do say is if someone is being extreme, for example, excessive in the issue of tikfir, uh, going outside the bounds with regards to tikfir, or excessive in tabdir, of declaring uh, innovators from their brothers from Ahlus Sunnah, people who they have no dalil for, or based on their desires, or based on hearsay, or based on uh, personalities and shaksiyah, and their nafs instead of dalil from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and muqadifat that the person has uh, fallen into or errors, a series of errors or things that uh, destroy the usul of the person, making them no longer from the, having the usul of Ahl Sunnah or uh, taking on a, a new asl from the usul of the people of uh, innovation or bid'ah. That if they don't have this, some of the people they make uh, tabdi of the people for other reasons in the dunya, and this is also, this is a type of extremism. This is not from Salafia. So it is more correct. And this is, from my experience, I've never heard any of the ulama say that there is a balanced Salafia. But rather, they just say the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, the, 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 or, or, or the Salafiyun in general. And that means that those people who fall into mistakes and become extreme and excessive that they have those traits of excessiveness and extremism, but that does not affect Salafia. Likewise, the people who become too easy about everything and they destroy a lot of the usul of Ahl Sunnah, that doesn't reflect the usul of Ahl Sunnah, but rather that's a reflection of those individuals and either their shortcomings, their mistakes, or they're leaving the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. And it depends upon the individual. It depends on the level of they're going astray or they're belittling the principles because people we can all do it we all fall into error as the prophet ﷺ said all the children of adam make mistakes and the best of those who sin or make mistakes are the tawabun those people who, who make repentance to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so all of us can sometimes be too harsh or sometimes we can be too uh i don't like to say too gentle but that we uh, maybe fall into error with regards to some of the usul of Ahl Sunnah. This can happen. It's not mustahil, mustahil. It's not something that's impossible to happen, but it happens. So it's very important to be going back to the usul of Ahl Sunnah and not rush. Because from the usul, if we go back to the statements of the Salaf, we'll see from their usul is not to rush and make tibdi of people and to take people off the Sunnah. Whereas us today, we differ. We have suspicion in our masjids. We look to people suspicious. They come in the masjid. We say, uh, so-and-so is not Salafi. Look at their garment. So-and-so is not Salafi. We don't know them. So-and-so is not Salafi. We've never seen them before in our gatherings. So we're very suspicious instead of going back to those kuwa'id and asul, those principles and uh, that are mentioned by from the Salaf up until the later generations. And we should always go back and look to this usul and this foundation that the Prophet Sallallahu gave us as a prescription for dealing with these differences. And that he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-Khulafa Rashidin al-Mahdiin. He said, it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat, uh, the Khulafa Rashidin, the four rightly guided Khalifat, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala, anima ajma'een that this is our usul and this is what we need to come back to but it's not coming back to personalities i can't say oh so and so abu so and so uh 
in so and so, they're always on the hawk. They're uh, like this and they're like this, but rather we need to go back to those usul and those foundations and not exalt people above their status and not belittle people from their status. And that's what the usul of Ahl Sunnah is. It is balance. It's aslan balance. That's the usul, is it's being balanced. And that's what we learn from the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. And that's what we learn more importantly from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala orders us to be, to be balanced and to command the good and forbid the evil based on the Book of Allah. And the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to the Fahim of the Salaf of this Ummah. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Wasallam.